What's up y'all? I'm Madison Payne and welcome to another video. If you're new here and you like budget, style, and beauty, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I am your girl. I put out videos like this at least three times a week. But in today's video, I'm so excited. I've been working on this video for two weeks over here, you guys. So this is a video all about jewelry. We're going to go over my everyday collection. I'm not showing you guys everything that I own because I do store a lot of my jewelry. Jewelry trends change a lot. So I'm kind of a hoarder when it comes to jewelry and I don't throw nothing away. So I'm just going to show you guys the pieces that I grab for all the time. So this is just pieces that are really in right now. And then I'm going to show you guys how I store my jewelry as well as going over the fall jewelry trends. So that is a lot of ground to cover you guys. As always, everything's going to be linked below in the description. So let's go ahead and get started. So first let's start with how I organize my jewelry. I showed you guys this in my last Amazon favorites video, but for my earrings, especially my bigger earrings, I like to use this fold out acrylic earring holder. It's only like $13 on Amazon. It's such a good deal. I said it in that video, but if I cannot see my jewelry, I won't wear it. I'm just one of those people. Plus, I really also like to use accessories as art. I showed you guys also in a previous video that I use acrylic holders for even my sunglasses, and it goes across my wall, and it takes up the whole wall space, and it makes it a very fun display. You also kind of feel like you're in a store. So I'm super big on that. I love the earring holder. 10 out of 10 recommend that to you guys. And I recently added these acrylic knobs, I guess you would call them, that I hung just right behind the earring holders. And y'all, those are so great. They're only like $25, I think, for two. Such a good deal. I feel like anything Lucite in acrylic has such a high markup, so that is a steal from Amazon. And I personally use it to store my longer necklaces. It's been a great storage option for me. So of course I show mine mounted, but you actually don't have to mount it. I'm gonna order another set to do this. You can just lay it out and you can put rings on it, y'all. Is that not the most genius thing you've ever heard? So I'm gonna definitely order a two pack of those. I think that is a fantastic storage solution. And then everything else I put in these trays, this one is pretty overstuffed because this is everything that I'm going to go over in today's video, but I normally keep things very evenly spaced out. I do have three of these and I did get mine at TJ Maxx like three years ago, but I found a bunch of similar options on Amazon that I would actually buy over this now because this one is a little big. It doesn't fit everywhere. So I'm going to link some similar ones from Amazon below, but the tray is also a really great option too, because again, I have to keep it out. I think jewelry boxes really are lovely, but y'all, if I can't see it, it's like I don't have it. And then how I store jewelry that I'm not using is just in a photo album from the container store. I put like items in there. And then when we see the new trends, I might kind of go sifting through there, which actually shopping your closet, heirloom pieces, thrifted pieces are a huge trend, which we're going to get into. I actually have no this video you guys I never have notes but there are just so many fun jewelry trends I did not want to forget anything so as far as jewelry goes right now the bigger the better we're seeing the return of the statement earrings the bigger chains which actually is a really big shift as far as jewelry goes because it was all about the thin dainty pieces now I still wear the little dainty jewelry because some outfits I can't help it that's just what looks better with that but how I'm doing that and still being on trend is by wearing daintier pieces but still all layered up we're seeing a huge trend on the runway and lots of layered necklaces, long, short, whatever you want to do. So I feel like this one is still on trend that way. And I love how this one looks. I want to say it's around $40 and I've had it for over a year. Major trend that we've already been seeing this year and it's just going to continue to be really popular throughout the fall and winter season is chains, 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 and more chains, which I'm so here for. I would like the record to show I have been rocking this from the very beginning, from my first bougie on a budget video. I love how chains look. I think they make an outfit automatically look way more expensive. So this is one of my favorite trends, not only in jewelry, but in fashion right now. So I have gone in hard on this trend. Now the thing to keep in mind about what chains are in is it is all about the thick and bigger chain even the chain that I have on would be considered a smaller chain but the links on it are thicker so that's really what we're looking for and we're especially seeing it in the gold styles most of the 2020 jewelry trends that we've been seeing are all about the gold but I will say I've been seeing little whispers on some of these fashion websites that silver is coming so I did get some of these pieces in silver because that is the latest word on the street although I personally am more of a gold girl just saying so the first chain that I have is this express one I wear it all the time it's really great for outfits that a super 
dressier chain doesn't quite fit with and I also like to use it to layer up so I have it paired with my Amazon name necklace and they also have it for other fonts I just went for this font because I'm obsessed with Carrie Bradshaw and her Carrie necklace so this particular style looked the most like it so as far as larger chains go I have these two this one is from Target and this one is the best budget buy for a chain necklace in my opinion it looks really similar to a lot of higher end chains i'm talking like seven thousand dollars this one is definitely giving a similar look for a fraction of the cost so i love this chain necklace you guys see me use it in all the videos it also is very similar to the kendra scott beckett one that i bought this one does have a little bit more of a true gold this one is a hundred dollars at kendra scott it's still very reasonably priced compared to super high-end jewelry brands. I just think this is a really classic piece, so I did not mind investing in it. But if you want a budget one, for sure, the Target one is the one to pick up. I also wanted to note about the Beckett, because we're seeing this trend as a part of the chain trend, is the paperclip chain. And that's where you're seeing these longer chain links as opposed to these super rounded ones, if that makes sense. That's also really popular. And as I go through these other pieces, I'll definitely point that out to you guys, which ones are a little bit more of the paperclip trend. So just kind of reiterating the difference in chains, I have both of these two chain link earrings. This one is from Amazon and this one is from Target. And this one you guys can see is longer, whereas this one is more of a true chain link. So that's the difference in the trend. I love both of these earrings. I got them both pretty recently too, so they should still be in stock. When I wear the Amazon one, I do normally stack it up with other earrings, whereas the bigger one I'll normally just wear on its own. So just kind of personal preference what you're into, but these are both great options for chain earrings. And my next chain necklace is actually combining both. We have the paperclip chains as well as the true chain link. I love this. It's from Express. And then this layer right here reminds me so much of just like a bottle tab, you know, on a can of soda, which utilitarian is also a super big trend where you're taking things that don't necessarily look like they belong on a necklace and they're throwing it on there and wearing that like jewelry. And you guys might have noticed more celebrities lately rocking the safety pin trend. That would definitely fall into the utilitarian category. The hardcore hardware is what I've seen some websites reporting it as, so that's a huge trend. So I just feel super in with this necklace. So this one does hit me a little longer and it also is from Express. Can you guys tell I have a type? I love Express jewelry. I feel like the quality is really nice for the price, um, but I like that this one hits me a little longer because with some necklines, I don't necessarily want a choker style. So this one does majorly have the paperclip links. This is a really, really good example of that. And it does have the serpentine chain, which I am very into this season, and then just a thinner chain at the bottom. I love this necklace. I also wear it a ton. If you don't want a clunky necklace, I recommend this one. And since allegedly silver is making a comeback, I did also get a multi-layered necklace in silver. It does have the same oblong chain, and then it does have more of the old school chain link. I do really like this. Plus, even if silver doesn't end up being Big, although if we're already hearing about it, it probably will be. There's just some stuff that like I want to match a silver belt or I want to match silver on a handbag. So I think it's good to have a mixture of both in your closet. And then of course you guys already know this is my absolute favorite necklace right now. It's from Express. I haven't had a problem with any of my Express jewelry turning, but I might order another one of these just because how much I love it. I get a lot of questions when I wear this because people think that these are all separate necklaces. No, they are all attached. It's one purchase. But in regards to stacking up your necklaces, I did briefly want to mention that I do use these spacers from Amazon. You can put up to three necklaces on it. I did mention it in my last Amazon video. If you want to learn more about that, I'll link it below. But it's really great, especially for more delicate necklaces. And it does come in a two pack, so I have a gold and a silver one. So another type of chain that is super in right now, I've been seeing so many celebrities rocking this very recently. And it's a very throwback style called the herringbone chain, but now people are calling it the flat chain which I mean seems appropriate to, as well. But I love this. I think this is like the cool older sister of all of the chains. So Express does sell this in a two pack of a choker and a longer one. Sometimes I wear it together, sometimes I wear it separate, but I think this is a really good deal for two necklaces. And every time I post this on Instagram, people freak out because they're actually kind of hard to find for an affordable price. So I did decide to pick up these chain bracelets also from Express, that way I could stack them up. And I did get one in gold and one in silver, just kind of depending on what I'm wearing. I love these, these are a great purchase. And so also to stack up with everything, I got this bangle pack from Target. I forget how much it was, but it was affordable. 
I actually bought these because they kind of look to me like the Cartier Love bangle. Do they have the little circles like Cartier? No, they do not, but they were also a fraction of the cost. And I think it does give you that kind of look. And I love how this looks stacked up, even throwing some other bracelets in with it. I recently saw a photo of Kylie Jenner on Instagram and she was wearing a ton of bangles. You guys, bangles are gonna be big. And then another piece of jewelry that I really like to stack up. This isn't necessarily a trend, but the braided bracelet is just a very classic look. This is my David Yurman one. And then this is a similar style that I got on Amazon. You can see more of it in my last Amazon video, but I love to wear these together. I love to wear them separate. Just stack them up, really whatever you want. It's just a super classic style. And that Amazon one is a really great way to shop the look at an affordable price. So next, getting into rings. I love that a bunch of rings are back in trend. I love it when people have just like massive amounts, more than I have on right here. I'm gonna pop up some photos. We've been seeing it on the runway and fashion publications and it's like a ring on every finger stacked up. I love this trend. I'm definitely gonna look for some more affordable rings to stack up. I do wear these two rings from Target in pretty much every video because I just wear them every day. And for wearing them every single day, washing my hands with it, not being careful, I feel like the Target quality has lasted pretty good. I did also pick up this one from Express, but it does already look like it's a stack. So I'm here for the ring trend. And when I was doing research for this video, you guys, I saw a spoon ring on the LV model. You guys, me and my mom both have matching spoon rings. She wears hers all the time, so I did borrow it for the video because mine is pretty tarnished. But I'm gonna definitely hit this with a little jewelry cleaner once this video is over. If you guys are interested in this style, I'll try to find it online. I bet Etsy sells some, but I just thought that was super cool. Okay, let's talk earrings. The hoops are having a moment. They are having their year, which I done told you guys that back in January, which I love a hoop earring. It is my earring of choice. I did pick up these from Target. I do have them in silver and gold. They are the thicker hoop, which is the hoop style that's really popular is the chunkier one. I recently saw a photo of Kim Kardashian and she had a super thick hoop on and y'all Kim doesn't even normally wear jewelry So for her to be in it, that means it is super super in I really love this style from Target It was really reasonably priced and they're light I have a thicker pair that I used to wear that I want to say was from Amazon But it would just pull on my lobe a lot. So I highly recommend these even though the thicker ones are really in I love the look of the thinner ones stacked up I did get recently a three pack from Express in both the gold that's including the one that I have on um, And the silver as well. So it does come with a quote-unquote larger hoop This to me is like a baby hoop, but I also know I like big hoops this medium size that I have on then it has this little one I think it just looks super pretty all stacked up and then I did also buy a three pack of just these tiny ones that do have a little bit of bling bling I just think it really complements an ear stack really nicely so not necessarily what's on trend right now but it's just what I like now the earring trend that I'm not really sure I'm here for is the one earring <laughs> I feel like it looks like you just lost your earring I don't know you guys leave me a comment down below of what you think of that trend I don't think it's surprising at all that we're seeing this trend in the one earring though because asymmetrical styles were super popular so I feel like that is the jewelry version of the asymmetrical clothing trend that has just been all over the runway all over celebrities so no I'm I'm still a little torn about it what I know I'm for sure not here for is the buying of just the one earring because that trend will be out and then you're just gonna have one lonely earring I don't know about that I feel like if you're gonna rock the trend buy two and then just wear one so for my next piece of jewelry I'm gonna combine two major trends right now that we're seeing one the one I mentioned earlier of the heirloom trend this is a great time to shop your closet even better shop your mom or your grandma's closet seriously all of those throwback pieces are super in right now so my next item is just a piece of costume jewelry from my grandmother and it's also hitting the pearl trend you guys pearls are back couldn't even get through a fall trends article without seeing pearls everywhere from in your hair to on your clothing to specialty jewelry i'm here for the pearl trend i think it's very classy also a huge trend for 2020 some fashion articles have said it is the only piece of jewelry you need and that is the anklet. I love this from my recent Amazon video. And I just love that this has a little M on it. You can get any initial on it. Also not a trend that's super surprising because we were seeing trending this year any kind of shoe jewelry. So chains on your shoe, any kind of bedazzled on your shoe, really popular. So not surprising that the anklet is allegedly the go-to jewelry accessory of the year. All right, y'all. So that's it for today's jewelry video. I hope you guys liked taking a look at my jewelry collection as well as looking at the jewelry trends for 2020. I know there's a lot of pieces that I'm going to now start looking for like more rings, fun, oversized statement earrings. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one.